welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika and this is Check the Rhymes. I am super excited that you're here. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all, I am hype about today's show because we're talking about one of my absolute new favorite legal dramas. It's called Reasonable Doubt and it streams on Hulu. A new episode drops every single Tuesday. So in the building today, I have two of the stars from the show and they are fine. Y'all ready for this eye candy? I have McKinley Freeman in the building, y'all, and Sean Patrick Thomas. Yes, y'all, we are going to talk about the series and more, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss today's show. Hey, Shamika. Shamika, what's happening? Hi, welcome to Check the Rhymes. How are y'all? Good, how are you? Doing well. I Y'all had me up late. I'm tired because I was up binge watching <laughs> this show. I could not go to sleep. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I appreciate the support. Reason yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Reasonable doubt. I am loving it. Um, what made both of you decide you wanted to do the show and that this, what, what drew you to this character? Well, of course, I guess, tell people who your character is, but um, we can start with you, McKinley. Uh, yeah, uh, my character is Lewis Stewart. Uh, I play Jax's husband. And uh, what brought me to the project was uh, initially an audition um, in which I was the first time I got a chance to meet uh, Kerry Washington, Larry Wilmar. Pilar Savone, uh, Ramla Muhammad, uh, Tamara Gregory, and it was a, a phenomenal, uh, you know, experience. Just the audition process, getting to know them. They're very inspiring. Um, they allow, you know, creatives to be creative, which is mm -hmm. important. And uh, the, really the writing of the world made it so interesting that, you know, Sean and I, as well as Michael, talk about that in this world, it would I would have been happy to play Brayden <laughs> or, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And that right. just speaks. Uh, that just speaks to the details in the world. So hopefully that the nuance of it all comes comes out when you guys watch the show. Yeah. Okay. And um, Sean Patrick, I mean, you had me, the, the first time I saw you on the screen as Brayden, I was like, ooh, uh-uh. I don't like his <laughs> attitude. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? If, what? if that's the way you felt, that means I did my job. So I, I take that as a compliment. Thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so what drew you to the role? Well, honestly, um, first and foremost, just the opportunity to work with Kerry Washington again. Uh, we worked uh, together about 20, 21 years ago on uh, Save the Last Dance, played brother and sister. And uh, we've always had like kind of a warm, genuine connection. And so uh, the opportunity to work with her again was, you know, top of mind. But also on top of that, uh, the script that Rama Muhammad wrote was just incredible. And uh, this particular role of Braden Miller was a great opportunity for me to play a different type of character than I've ever gotten to play before. You know, somebody with a lot of uh, dark sides and a lot of nuance. And, uh, and so at this point in my career, it was just a thrilling opportunity to play a character that I think people would surprised to see, be surprised to see me in. Yeah, I don't know what I expected, but that, that was not it. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. one of the things I love about this show is that there was an all black writers room and that every episode is directed by a black director. Um, what mm. was that like for you? Is this, is this some like a new experience? Because I know you both have been worked on a lot of projects. Um, McKinley, we'll start with you. Um, for me, it, it was a, a new experience from top to bottom because it wasn't just, uh, you know, black writers, black directors, our uh, lead is sound, Brittany, um, is a sister, uh, Kira that directed a pilot, uh, there's a DP for the pilot, was a sister, and, and like, the real cool thing about, there's moments while we're shooting the show that we, we wanted to make sure that our voices were authentic and that people could see themselves on screen. Um, so even in uh, episode seven, for example, there was a very shorthanded, quick conversation that needed to happen about a very important moment um, from from Lewis's perspective. And to be able to have that conversation with Carl Seaton, Jason Wilborn, Larry Wilmore, Pete Chapman, and to be able to quickly have speak shorthand about a moment that was very important, like that's the rarity in this business, to mm -hmm. be able to make sure we make the most of that moment. And props to Onyx for, for bringing such a, a strong team together to make sure that that was even a possibility if necessary. So it's very, to yeah. me, very inspiring to be in, in, in an environment like that. Absolutely. I mean, for me to be in this type of environment, it was different because usually when I'm on a set, I feel like kind of an outsider. I feel like kind of a visitor. I would say most of the mm -hmm. time when I'm on set, because usually everybody around you, you know, is, is not right. necessarily people of color, you know? And so mm -hmm. on this set, you didn't feel like you were kind of like a, a visitor who was like, you know, just kind of like popping in and popping out. You really felt like you were at home. You felt like you were with people that uh, understood you and, and, and you understood them. 
And it was just kind of an easy thing where you could kind of like throw stuff out there and try different things. And you didn't have to explain yourself or, or try, you know. Yeah, and listen, yeah. Yeah, Sean hits the nail on the head and even yeah. gets down to a personal level. Well, like, you can't walk around with ashy ankles either. Because, like, <laughs> they're going to tell you. You're not, uh, McKinley, uh, you need to come on back in here and get some cocoa butter on your right. ankles. We're right. not letting you out there like that. It. So yeah. that's the yeah. family, you know and, what and I mean? And it's, it's nice to show up to work and not worry about if they can take care of you in the hair and makeup trailer. You know, exactly. usually oh, that's you good come point. into a trailer, you're like, oh, geez, can they do my hair? I don't know. Can they do my makeup? I don't know. Mm. You show up to reasonable doubt and you don't have to worry about that. And that's what, you know, actors who are not of color, they've been doing that for their entire careers. And for me, that was just like such a, a refreshing experience. You just show up to work and just have to worry about my work and not have to worry about, you know, can they do the total job, you know? Yeah, that's true. I yeah. love this. I love this. Um, so for my last question, because I was sitting here like, I got it. Like, is there a playlist for this soundtrack? Because I was like, this is, <laughs> I love this. And I'm, a, I'm I yeah. love music. So, and I didn't realize that the, that every, there was, this is like a nod to Jay-Z with the, the title, Reasonable Doubt. And then every episode right. is a Jay-Z song. So if you think yeah. about the entire soundtrack for the series, do you have a favorite song that's, that's all, that we can add to our playlist? Either one of you. Um, from, from, from the show? From the show. Yeah, from the show. Um, I mean, I think, uh, I mean, that, that, okay, you know what? This is props <laughs> to Michael Ely, uh, Sean, and the uh, creative genius around this show. The uh, story of OJ, mm -hmm. episode four, when, when Damon. Episode and, and three. Episode, episode three, episode, episode three, three, when it's Braden uh -huh. and Damon having their respective um, challenges with authorities. And being able to see that, like, whether you're a billionaire or a brother that's just out of prison, you still the same. And that right. to me. And then with, with, with that specific song, it was just like the layers and props out to our, our sound people um, and the people that put together the music because it's a very important character in this, in this show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would Absolutely. agree with that. I would agree with that. Um, I think my answer would be Can I Live? Because Ooh, yeah. that is kind of like, it feels like an anthem mm. to... To, to this show and what we're all about and, and what we're trying to do with these characters, what we're trying to do telling this story, what Ramla and Carrie are doing. It's just kind of like a, a, a defiant anthem about, okay, this is how we're going to put ourselves out here. This is the standard that we're setting. Yeah. And I just, I just love that song in terms of like the, the, the feeling that it evokes. And the dope thing about Can I Live is it's not a question. Right. <laughs> you know, it's, <laughs> right, like, it's right. more of a statement. Like, <laughs> right. Yes. You know. Yeah. Well, I, w I want to thank you both. Those are some great answers. I want to thank you both for joining me today on Check the Rounds. I could talk to you all all day. Reasonable yeah. Doubt is streaming on Hulu. New episodes every single Tuesday. Y'all check it out. Thank you both. Have a great day. Thank you thank very you. much. Appreciate it.